Radio, your station for up-to-the-minute news, intelligent, interactive, and engaging conversation. 96.9 FM. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. They say the sun and a shine for all But the young some people world get never shine at all These roads of flames are catching a fire You're listening to Talking Heads with Naughty, only on Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Every time you are you gone, 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 I've been feeling for you long, so long. Talking Heads with Naughty is brought to you by the Bahamas Association of Athletics Associations, the Bahamas Alt Island Promotion Board, the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, the Cleveland Clinic, Fine Threads, Janae's Uniform Center, John's Department Store, Jerkers Wild, KFC, Naughty Johnny's, Percy's and Games, and Print Masters. Here's how you can become a Talking Head, brought to you by BTC. Locked and loaded to the Friday, June 28th edition of Talking Heads. Your boy, not eating your company right up until 6 p.m. Happy Friday, everybody. It is the weekend. You work hard. Like I always tell you, all work and no play makes you a dull person. All play and no work makes you a dull person. All work and no play makes you dull. All play and no work makes you broke. So the happy medium is the weekend. So we here. Love yourself. <laughs> However you decide to do it. Take a couple of minutes off to love yourself. All work and no play, like I tell you. Recipe for, <laughs> for a bad weekend. But um, I hope you had a good Friday. And uh, like I said, we got lots to talk about today. And here's how you become a talking head. Here's how you chime in. Phone lines are open in New Providence. We're opening them up today. You know how we do it on a Friday. 323-6232-325-4316-325-4259 in New Providence. Toll free to anyone in the family islands, 242-300-5720, 242-300-5720. Text lines powered by BTC, 422-GR96, that's 422-4796. Stream us live, take us wherever you want to go, guardiantalkradio.com. That's guardiantalkradio.com. Cable channel 969, BTC flow channel 612. That's how you get it in, that's how you get it on for fresh news, smart talk all day, right here on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Right now, time to check out the headliners, all brought to you, of course, by Fine Threads. It's time for Headliners. Everything that's making headlines in the 242. Brought to you by the Fine Threads. And here's what's blazing up the pages of the Nassau Guardian News and Views in Madison's 1844. All brought to you, of course, by Fine Threads. New arrivals in stock right now. Both locations, Top of the Hill, Mackey Street, and the Southwest Sharpen Plaza location. All right, so be sure to check them out. Check them out online, finethreads.com. Do your shopping online. Then arrange for pickup at any one of those convenient fine thread locations. All right, here's what's blazing up the, the pages of the Nassau Guardian. This has been uh, the hot topic for the week, and I expect you guys to chime in on it. I want to hear your take on it. Barbaric government task force blasted. Tax collection team strategies invasive. Listen, I don't mind if you have a, a, of a government unit is set up and a tax collection team is set up. But when I think taxes, I'm thinking neckties, glasses, briefcase, computers, calculators. I'm not thinking fully armed SWAT team with guns. And why are we so desperate to collect taxes? Isn't this administration more visionary as they promised on the campaign trail that they wouldn't tax? I remember them saying that we wouldn't tax. But here we are. And now you got the tax man cometh. And he's packing heat. So chime in, especially you business owners. Let me know how you feel on that. FBI providing assistance in case of missing U.S. woman. And, and the plot thickens in this one. It's making headlines internationally, locally as well. And, and we need to find, you know, an answer to this. Find out what's going on. Let's get to the bottom of this. I'm sure her family wants answers. We as a country want answers. Internationally, they want answers. And it's not like we've had, you know, we have some great international press, but we also had some bad international press. We don't need any extras. 
Western Air suspends flights to New Bike Cat Island. Oh, hold on. Mr. Producer, New Bite is in Cat Island. I just want to make sure, right? New Bite is in Cat Island. So they suspended flights. Western Air announced yesterday it has temporarily suspended flights to and from New Bite Cat Island due to unsafe runway conditions. The flights will remain suspended until adequate repair on the runway has been completed, the airline said. Well, if, if it's a bad runway for Western Air, it's probably a bad runway for Bahamas Air. And maybe it's probably a bad, a, a bad runway for a what? A, a King <laughs> Gulfstream 260 Sky King. <laughs> we Bar Association calls for more security at court. And this is given. Considering there were no CCTVs in that portion of the, of the court complex. And like the previous administration said they were going to use CCTV. This administration, I, I, I don't know. Maybe they are not saying about it, but maybe like courthouses and other areas like that should have and, and be ensured to have CCTV. Obviously, anything is popping off in 2024. Shopkeeper fined for price control violation. A shop owner was on Thursday fined $1,500 after he admitted to breaching the price control regulations. The price control unit cited Martin Shea of John Shea Supermarket on East Street South following an inspection on August 14th. Well, at least the price control didn't show up with guns like the tax control. <laughs> so we got that and much more to talk about. On this open line Friday edition of Talking Heads, we're going to open up the lines. We're going to take a quick break right now. Flip side of the break, we'll be getting into the buzz. All brought to you, of course, by John Shoes. And I want to know what you're buzzing on. We're blazing up the pages of the Nassau Guardian or whatever else is making you rounds throughout the week. Whatever's popping, whatever's making you buzz, we want to talk about it on the flip side of the break. So keep it right where you got it. The Friday, June 28th edition of Talking Heads continues right after this. You're listening to Talking Heads with Naughty. Oh, only on Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Living with a neurological condition shouldn't define you. At Cleveland Clinic in Florida, we do whatever it takes to make life better today while discovering new treatments for a brighter tomorrow. From epilepsy management to specialized spine care and brain tumor surgery, we're delivering world-class neurology care for the day-to-day for the days you live for, for every care in the world. Visit clevelandclinicflorida.org slash Caribbean. Flavid Island Games, we making dreams come true. Flavid Island Games, we paying more out to you. Don't mind the noise in the market, you get cash in your pocket. Cause Island Games is spicy, and spicy is tradition. So when you play, play Island we put in Bahamian spice, guaranteed to pay. Island Games, we like them other jokers. We've been here from the start, from the bike to computer. Island Games, we can make your dreams come true. We play it with Island Games. Is it a burger? No. Is it pizza? Come on, man, it's KFC. Whatever the crunch this is, it's delicious. New, the Kentucky Cheetah Sandwich. Crispy chicken topped with marinara sauce, mozzarella, and pepperoni. Order your cheetah sandwich now at KFCNassau.com or at your favorite KFC restaurant today. It's new and it's radical. KFC, it's finger licking good. The Grand Bahama News is available every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. You can buy your local paper at Freeport Convenience Stores, Western Bakery, DeGregory's Fine Foods, and Bellevue Gifts. Now is the time to reach your Grand Bahama market with affordable packages, including print and digital. Call GB News Sales Representative Kavandre at 822-6717 or message him on WhatsApp for ad rates. Classified ads are now available every Tuesday as well. Keep up with everything Grand Bahamian every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. The best athletes in the Bahamas will be on display at the B3A's Kids Athletics Invitational Junior and Senior National Championships June 26 to 28 at the original Thomas A. Robinson Track and Field Stadium. Stephen Gardner, Devin Charlton, Sean A. Milo Weibo, and so many more. The juniors are vying for the opportunity to represent the Bahamas at the World Under-20 Championships, and the seniors are gunning to qualify for the Paris Olympic Games, which are fast approaching, and our athletes are looking to get on the road to Paris. The meet gets on the way at 4 p.m. on Wednesday, June 26th, and Thursday, June 27th, and at 5 p.m. on Friday, June 28th. 
Gates open at 3 p.m. daily, and tickets can be purchased for as low as $20 at the original Thomas A. Robinson Track and Field Stadium. The B3A's Kids Athletics Invitational Junior and Senior National Championships, June 26 to 28 at the original Thomas A. Robinson Stadium. You don't want to miss this one. This is Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. It's time for the buzz. What are you buzzing on? Brought to you by John Shoes. We're back at you on the Friday, June 28th edition of Talking Heads. And it's time to get into the buzz. All brought to you, of course, by John Shoes. New arrivals in stock every Monday, ladies, so be sure to check them out. Some is here. They got your flats. They got your sandals going on for you, as well as a wide selection for men and children, women and children, all right? Formal, casual, athletic, waiting on you. Workwear as well. Be sure to check them out on John's Workwear and Fast Fashions as well, all right? Both locations, John's Plaza Carmichael, Michael and the flagship store over there on Rosetta today. Remember, John, serving you is a pleasure. All right, phone lines are open. You feel free to chime on in. Let me check uh, the phone. Uh, let me check the text lines as well. But listen, most everywhere I go, every topic of conversation that pops up is this tax collection team. All right, and, and the government is facing criticism on it, but they keep rolling this team out. It's uh, the Maritime Revenue Enhancement Task Force with uh, the Bahamas Chamber of Commerce and Employees Confederation. They're expressing concern over the Maritime Revenue Task Force and the Bahamas Chamber of Commerce Employees Confederation has issues with it. They're concerned over the contempt being shown for the business community through invasive inspection strategies. And one businessman branding a barbaric, mindless, and completely archaic. That's how he branded it, and I think so. You don't need to show up in full SWAT regalia. You don't need to show up with, with guns blazing and guns drawn. It's, it's really, and, and who are you? Which business are you rolling out first? Shouldn't it be like layers, and you go after everybody at the same time? I mean, Palm Key yesterday, Jack Hannity, you know, an official of Palm Key, blasted what he described as barbaric and intrusive conduct on the part of the officers who make up the task force, which, is, which he said has visited the Eastern New Province community three times this month. Well, why are you, now if you visited them three times this month, aren't there other gated communities you could visit as well for the same reasons? Two more out there in the East and some out there in the West? So why not? If you're going to do it, then do it uniform. You can't go to three business, you can't go to Palm Key three times. And none of the other gated communities at all. Where's the balance? Where's the fairness? I think CBS was, was visited by this crew as well. And again, I have no problem with the government collecting back taxes and collecting taxes. But you need to do it streamlined. You need to have it organized. You need to have a proper team of officials with documents and record keeping. Not full SWAT gear and guns. It comes off oh so wrong. All right, let's get uh, over to the text lines. And it's open lines today so we can talk about whatever. Naughty. Was the person who was killed at the airport early that morning to work? The family put up a $25,000 reward to seek out the person who killed their loved one. But not if you put out a reward that big, you can get some, you can get some inquiries. You might get some leads. But again, the plot really thickens in that one. So you got to keep your eye on that because more information is becoming available right now. And it is a very tragic, sad situation. Oh, okay, see, y'all, y'all, want, y'all want to be funny now. No, I, no sir, we're going out to a well-known F&M establishment. Well, keep it unified. Go out to the known F&M and PIP establishment. Mine, keep it even. Keep it uniform, you know? 
So what do you say in tax today? They ain't going down there by life at Kiev, or they ain't going by Albany. They don't even keep it in the east. Is that what you said? Naughty, great show as usual. They just decided to announce COVID going around after I've been coughing for two weeks plus. <laughs> I don't think COVID's ever gone away. So do what you need to do. You don't need to get it. Period. We've seen what it's done. We've seen what it can do. Naughty, great show as usual. I would hate to see if an asteroid was about to hit the Earth. They would announce it two weeks after they hit NASA. The Bahamas is not a real place. <laughs> Boy, y'all on a roll this afternoon. Naughty, I want to see BPR collection agency collect that money like that, Naughty. You can imagine they go with the SWAT team to pick up the $500 for you, me, and everybody else. Man, if they, if they, keep, it, if they keep it uniform, if they keep it uniform, then, you know, Across the board, I don't have a problem with that. Naughty, they didn't go to CBS, but, no, wait a minute, Mr. Producer, didn't it come up in the week they went to CBS already? If I'm not mistaken, let me double check that. And then, let me check the records on that, because I think they did pay a visit to CBS. Text, are you trying to, you, you trying to muddy the waters today, text day? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, what's your take on that? Because I don't think in, 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 in this day and age that we should have a task force like this. I think we need a task force for other things like this. That this manpower should be used in other areas. And I do say we, we need a maritime revenue enhancement task force. We got to collect from what we need to collect. However, you know, it doesn't need to be done like this. I think it's putting a bad taste in business on his mouth. Let's go to the phone lines. Talking heads. Let's get to the phone lines. Talking heads. Hey, good day, Naughty. Hey, what's happening? Doing? What's going on, man? Yeah, this Friday, Friday, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, last Friday, remember I tell you I'm the, ne I'm the place where they um, confiscate the plane where the plane came from, right? Where the plane and come over, from? And over, and, and over the weekend, when good reporter logged on, the Minister of National Security, and he admitted that was first thing Monday morning where the plane was confiscated from, which island, right? Well, anyway, today, um, I want to share that someone can't get the people them in immigration to accept their objection so a bunch of people who are trying to apply for citizenship, which follows the notice, and that's the law that you you know you can file but, um, within the time to object to any application for citizenship, right? Right. Yeah, well, someone trying to serve the people by immigration, and basically they must have been given some instructions not to accept them, um, supposedly must be coming from the minister's office, but some other um, um, talk shows from another radio station has jumped on it. I need you to look into that too, man. Get uh, on that. All right, no problem. I'll double check it, man. All right, yeah, but man. you let that talk shows do what they do, and I can do what I do. Yeah, all right. I calling you. Don't let them, don't, 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 don't get leave behind. You know, you know, being on top of the news, go. Yeah, I know, but sometimes you got to do your due diligence, you know. Yeah, I know. I talk, and they, they make this application, and they don't want to accept them by immigration because the person don't want to send it to the mail because they could always get it right. and receive it, so they deliver it, and they don't want to accept them, okay? I'll double-check on that, but give me your take on this um, Maritime Revenue Enhancement Task Force. Man, all they have to do is go in there. Man, you know how, you know how to say it's them cucumbers. They can do it. You can't go in there with suits on and they and they gun under the uh, under the blazer or the windbreaker or whatever. And they ain't got to show them. They, you know, all them got have gun, but ain't nobody got to see that. Okay? <laughs> That's just using the discretion, right? All right. Good stuff. Have yeah. a good weekend, man. Yeah, man. You all too. All right. So for the text who texted me, and you see, I, I can only say you're not trying to deflect and defend. They didn't go to CBS, but no, well, clearly in The Guardian from two days ago. Caller, I see you, I'll get to you in a second. Clearly in The Guardian from two days ago, visit to CBS from Revenue Task Force, excessive. 
story by Chester Robots. But later, happy birthday to Chester. Vice President of CBS Bahamas, Brent Burns II, posted a video to social media website Twitter X, formerly Twitter, yesterday of 10 armed and, un, uh, un, uh, 10 armed and unarmed officers from the Maritime Revenue Enhancement Task Force entering the store on Monday to carry out an unannounced site inspection. So, Texter, please, stop texting fake news and foolishness. You got to get up early in the morning to get one on me, all right? So, like I said, they went to CBS as well. Now they need to go to other stores similar to that. They need to go to other gated communities. Let's go to the phone lines. Talking heads. What up, hey, Judge? You're just naughty by nature. What up, GNN? What's going on with you, brother? If I tell you what's going on with me, naughty, you can talk it. Well, that's my job. Let's go. Okay, good. Listen, I'm, uh, I use a fella. I, I, I just read between the lines. I don't, I don't go straight up. Because these fellas always throwing out distractions for you to take you, your mind or your eye off something else. I see this administration testing out the possibility of going... Um, um, dictatorship. <laughs> All right, okay. now. All right, GNN. You got to be careful when you make them statements, but tell me what you got. Listen, man, you put 10 officers to go check on taxes and stuff like that. That's, that's overkill. That's overkill. Well, well, in my bad. opinion, in my opinion, um, GNN, if I'm a business owner and I hear the maritime Revenue Enhancement Task Force is coming. I'm expecting some dudes, you know, that look like they were good at math in school, good in English, very studious, briefcase, um, mathematic calculator, computer, maybe, you know, a badge and a handgun inside, but nothing brandishing out with full SWAT, <laughs> SWAT gear and guns and high-tech and fired yeah, rifles for what? Well, Lottie, you don't need to have no uniform on to do what you're going to do there because we're, we're a democratic society. We're civilians. I'm sure the owners of that establishment, he ain't got no gun on them. I, you know, and I get it excessive. If I'm shopping in the store and I see, you know, a SWAT unit roll in and it, with, with high-powered weapons, I'm uneasy as a shopper. I'm trying to get out of there. I, I get them on the ground. And then I ain't going back at that shop no more. Not but for that while. I, I, see, I see them testing the waters for dictatorship style of government. You know, that's the only thing I could, a conclusion I could come to, man. You know what I mean? Well, if you look at some of the some of the red flags that have popped up, no Freedom of Information Act, no Procurement Act, yeah. you know, they, they, don't, they, they won't brandish you everything fake news. Plane. You want your own plane, you're buying the best of the BMWs. I'm not, like I'm not saying, I'm not saying that's where it's heading, but there, there are some red flags, man. There are some red yeah, flags. And, 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 and sovereign wealth fund dissolve and wake up, waste up. And uh, all the money, whatever coming. But you said a sovereign wealth fund all brace up? Huh? All brace up? All <laughs> brace up. And all the money coming in the country, the prime minister knows himself. But, and, and then I hear this morning him talking about competent authority something. But I see dictatorship coming in. Oh, and he's talking to competent authority now and now too? Oh, I got to go watch the house. That was in the house today? Yes, this morning on your station. Man, I would know that. I would... Competent authority. All right, I could, I could pull the news clip from here, but if it was in the house today, let me go watch it because I was busy this morning. So yeah, I, I can go check that out on um, GNN. That could yeah, be some man. of my weekend watching. Good stuff. Have a good weekend, eh, bro? Yeah, man. I'll see you. All right, All well, right. be safe. Bless. Let me check the text lines. Naughty. I'm a company that applied for VAT two years ago, was denied on the basis that incorporated companies with more than one store must be under one certificate, then closed the case. Last year, the same Inland Board of Revenue now trying to charge back VAT, saying it is owed and we should have been given collecting, we should have been collecting VAT. Although shown the letter, they saying we must pay still. What? You were denied? on the basis that incorporated companies with more than one store must be under one certificate. And the case was closed. Now Inland Revenue is telling you that they that you owe them back VAT? How sway? How does that work? But the math ain't mattin' on that adding or not, the math ain't mathin'. All right, text. I see these numbers you sent me. I, I can hold on to them. I can pass them on to Cuban Willie, all right? And you know Cuban coming up today. You got, you got your numbers going into the weekend. Double whammy, slammy. Three ball and four ball. Courtesy of the Island game. Let's go to the phone lines real quick right now. Talking heads. Hey, Naughty. How you doing, buddy? What's going on, bro? Right here. Listen, Naughty, let me just ask you something. 
Do you think they would have gone into cash and go? Boy, look here. Pick another business, man. Pick another business. <laughs> Because I see where you go with that, and, 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 and then people who own that, they all right with me, man. Come on, pick the next one. But yeah, they should have visited there. They should have visited straight across the board. I, I, I think they, uh, you know, you, you what they call it? Selective breeding or whatever it is. Selective what? Right. Selective breeding? Uh, profiling or whatever it is. No, no. I, I think that you, you need to do it. They would have gone into um, um, our walk home. And Frankie Wilson there? Mm, I don't know. No, no. Let me ask you, because they haven't. So I can't, uh, they haven't done so as of yet. And this is why I would say uh, it should be done in a uniformed manner. Meaning if I go to Palm Key, I'm not going to go back to Palm Key two more times. I'm going to hit up Treasure Cove. The next um, gated community out there, Palm, um, um, all right, you got, uh, you got Palm Key. You got... Um, Treasure Cove, mm. and I think Port New Providence are all up there. Right. So yeah. check them three. Yeah. And when you check them three, then go into Bass and check out Albany and check out Charlottesville and check out Life at Key. Yeah. Why not? And every yeah. other gated community in between. Yeah. Because now you have a standard test for gated communities, yeah. a rotation, a schedule when you can check them. Then you do it to all your businesses similar to the CBS, all your businesses, regardless of political affiliation. I smell a, listen, something stinks in Denmark. But, you know, Naughty, I said, this is not, we as a country, all right, we know that the government needs its taxes. We've been giving the government money over and repeatedly, okay? The, the government is taxing us to oblivion. Every time you turn around, there's something that they're adding on. They're taxing the, the, the now taking back taxes on the visitors who are visiting those private islands. No, no, but, but listen, I want to make it abundantly clear. You shouldn't have to be going in with guns, period. This, no, see, this is not and something I, that we would And I want, to, I want to make that point clear. Yeah, you no, could go and you can check on all of these things, but, but with guns and in full SWAT gear, yeah, that's not necessary. In the Bahamas, you know, somebody calls and says, oh, yeah, the Irish... They do it in the state. We are, this is not the state. We are not used to this foolishness. We are not. This is not us as the people, people walking around. We are not used to seeing policemen and, and, and armed forces on the streets with their guns showing like this. Okay? This is not something that we want to become accustomed to. The, we elected them. They are our servants, Right? Isn't that what they said? That we are going to be your servants? Mother Pratt said, you tell us what you want us to do. Okay? We serve you. But yet when they get in there, they do what they want to do. And they seem to govern however they want to govern. And they don't want to answer to the people. But, you know, they don't want to answer any questions put before, um, um, before them. But... It seems like this, this administration is allergic to question and answers, Q&As. You know, I would like for the Deputy Prime Minister, Mr., um, who is a businessman, to come out and tell us how you feel about what transpired, Mr. Chester Cooper, how you would have felt if they had gone into your business and done that to your business, Mr. Chester Cooper, I, Chester Cooper. Come and let us know how you feel about this whole matter. Thank you, Naughty. Have a good weekend. Buddy. All right, you too, brother. Let's go to the phone lines. Talking heads. Talking heads. Hey, Naughty. Sorry, GNN call back. Um, you had a call or two callers ago that I asked a question about what's going on with the with the immigration department and the Patriots, of which I am one. We I put a put a petition in to stop the invasion in the Bahamas. So at the Attorney General's office, and the Attorney General's office responded to us on two occasions. One of them said that we had no standing. As a Bahamian, every Bahamian has a standing, according to the Constitution, Article 54, somewhere around there or about. Anything you need to go to the Supreme Court that you have a problem with, Bahamians can have their, their side heard. Now, we took 
everybody does. Get trying to get citizenship in this country that is over 19. The patriots have taken a stand against that, according to the constitution of this country. And we are now taking everybody out of the papers who are over 19 to immigration to, to question their applications in the court of the Bahamas. Now, I'm not going to say Alfred says, uh, did give the instructions, but the secretary gave instructions for black males not to re receive uh, 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 the applications, but to, to stop what, what they're doing. So we would give Alfred Says the opportunity to say whether he gave that instruction. If not, or if he did, then we'll go to Plan B. So that, I hope that answers that question, that the caller's question. All right, Jen, and good con right. contributions as always, man. Let, let's get to these other calls. Talking heads. Talking heads. Hit us back, call them, since you don't like being on hold. <laughs> Let me check the text lines real quick. Uh, Naughty, good afternoon. If I'm in the store and see guns, officer or not, I'm getting out of there. I'm in the wrong place, period. I'm sure some people seem, feel the same way. Naughty, you should get Anton on the show. He knows everything. <laughs> Brave has been hanging out uh, too much in Africa. Uh, where, where the Prime Minister travels to got to do with the price of fish today? Text. Can you elaborate a little more, please? Naughty, great show as usual. I live in a gated community. Could you let the station edit that part of the show? I, no, they need to come to all your gated communities, all y'all. If they can go to Palm Key Tree Dance, they got to go to y'all as well, too. Put the guns up, but go visit y'all for sure. But this one right here, Naughty, here's a good idea. I think I have a good idea. Maybe Simon Wilson should run the prison. That was totally out of left field. I didn't expect that. That was kind of funny. <laughs> Let's go back to the phone lines. Talking heads. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Um, firstly, I'd like to point out that the situation that's happening now with the task force um, is a comparison, a direct comparison, of what's been happening in the nightlife industry in this country for quite some time. The police have been visiting various night spots with or without any cause with, I don't know, 50-plus officers with machine guns, um, asking customers to leave the establishment, and revenue has been lost. I, for one, have been um, in touch with the police a number of occasions, and there's been no justice come out of it. All so, I, listen, I can tell you this, caller. From when I used to be promotions and marketing manager the zoo years ago, that, that, this was rearing its ugly head back then. I've mm -hmm. heard continued stories over the years about it. But unfortunately, there's plenty of layers to that onion. You've got to peel that onion back to get to your answer, Chief. Yes. Last year alone, it, over 20 different occasions, Without cause, police officers have been visited my business and just closed. And you don't have to. You don't have to call the name of your business, but where is your business located? Which area? Bay Street. Mm. Bay Street, so, close so, to the cruise ship port. So, are you giving competition to other clubs that, that might be in the area? Well, I think the truth is we give competition to each other. That's just the industry. Mm. But the problem here is it, it's not a legal situation. Um, I, for one, again, different ACPs, spoken to them, written letters, and it just continues to happen. Revenue loss, and, you know, they come to harass you, um, uh, shake down or whatever have you. Now, and you, nothing comes out of it. I, I, okay, I, I think you need to, you, you're fighting a battle, I think, that, that you got to do some more investigation on to, to connect the dots. Okay. Because okay. I, I think that, that there's, you know, if you look at it, I mean, recently, over the last couple of years, I know there were certain articles alleging that, you know, officers own certain nightclubs. Yes, I, I would agree to that. And see, back okay. in the day, you know, Thursday night was the zoo ladies night. Sunday night was reggae night. On Saturday night, it was Waterloo. On Friday, it was somewhere else. We all got along. Charlie's had his night. Cocktails had their night, you know, everybody had a night, everybody was eating, and then there were certain nights where you go up against each other, but, 
Yeah, but from then, you know, th- th- you know, that's just the competition to run in a nightclub, man. People get competitive. People get ultra competitive, uber competitive for that dollar. But at the end of the day, you're still using a government entity um, to harass uh, a taxpayer. You know, and and these are persons coming in, patrons coming in, and they're seeing officers at your establishment without cause asking customers. That to is leave. that is bad for business. I've had several texts already, you know, come in and say earlier in the show that if they're in an establishment, they see guns, whether it's Offices are not, they're out of there. So I could just imagine in a nightclub, you know, they don't want to see this. That's bad for business. People see they, they that unit show up. They think it's a, it's a raid by the cops. Everybody gone. You lose your night, night of business. Nobody's coming back after that. Correct. And again, over 20 different occasions, written letters to... Have you taken this to the, the Chamber of Commerce? No, I, I did not. Maybe you should go that angle as well and, and, and you know, agitate it and on, on as many platforms as you can. Yeah. Because you should and, have a level playing field to run your business. Right. And I would even go as far as to say the same agency reaches out to, our Royal Bahamas Police Force reaches out to Inland Board of Revenue, instructing them not to renew certain licenses that has happened as well. Mm. It's also against the law. You know, only the Supreme Court in the law written can block licenses. You should go to the Chamber of Commerce and you should try to get as, as much assistance in this as you can. Okay. All right? Okay. And I appreciate it, man. Don't be a stranger and keep me posted on it, all right? Will do. All right, let's get to, to the text lines real quick. Caller, I see you. I'm coming at you right now. Um, what are the reason why I say Brave is going to Africa too much? He's adopting an African style of governing. Naughty, you forgot Culture Club. Yeah, Culture Club, too. Couldn't forget Culture Club. One time for Culture Club. Boop, boop. All right, there you go, Tex. Are you happy now? Oh. <laughs> right. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, Let's get to this phone line. Talking head. Talking head. But you are some impatient callers, boy. You all, you all be on hold for one second, but you all, there's plenty of callers coming through, you know. You just have to wait sometimes. <laughs> all right. Let me check some other text right here. Not, not every gated community has revenue-generating activities like Palm Key. So stand down, sign Treasure Cove. All right. See, that's the attitude right there. We don't have it, so don't check us. No, if you can check one, check all. If you have nothing to hide, if you have no issue, then, then let them check you too. You know, I mean, all of y'all in the same area. If not, why not? Yeah, check the house. Now, come on, you want to go in the house? Come on now. How many foreigners do you all have living there? Maybe we need to see who come on in and what they bring in. Because for a long time we've had rumors that illegalities come through the gated communities and allegations. Well, guess what, Treasure Cove? Don't put no bar and grill in. Then that way you'll ensure that uh, the maritime enhancement task force doesn't show up. And then you'll be good. You'll be good to go. But see, there it is. Broad strokes right there. Let's go to the phone lines. Talking heads. Hey, Naughty. Hey, what's happening? Yeah, well, it is us all the time, man. Some of the line is get cut off, he's get cut off, and he's beholding, he's just get cut off. Guess now I couldn't hear nothing. Uh, you know, I'm using my cell phone, and I got to listen to you and beholding. So when I saw it, I couldn't hear nothing, so I had to hang back up, call him, and tell him I was here while I hold it. Okay, now, good. Uh, uh, Naughty, I try to remember this word, man. I can't remember this word. You remember in the F&M government, uh, they go on, business them going to do the same thing. And this CM Prime Minister Brave Davis say they're using El Paco or something type tactics. And then uh, Tobago Lang explained it. That's the thing. Say something in Germany. What it happened in Germany a long time ago? I try to remember the word, man. You can remember the word? Listen, man, I'm not good at German. Only thing I know in German is like Heineken. You know? <laughs> no, yeah, what are you joking? And Volkswagen and Fourth and it's Gestapo the word you're using for. They're looking for the Nazi like Gestapo tactics. Is that the word you're looking for? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And brave, they have in the same prime minister, you said our minister. And then, and then he coming back with the same tackle. Yeah, I mean that was used a lot on on the yeah. campaign trail. Right. Ah, uh-huh. the same prime minister say they don't want this gov- F minister government use this same El Taco whatever. No, no, it, it's Gestapo. G E S T A P O. In simple terms, the secret state police in Nazi Germany noted for its brutal methods of interrogation. Right. So right. in 2024, yeah. when you see an incident like this with the Maritime Task Force, all right, that yeah. is what you call Gestapo tactics. Because if you come in to check my taxes, send in your agents. Let me see them like men in black. Let me see them in the suits. Let me see them with a badge. Let me see them with a possible handgun. Let me see them if you must have guns, but I don't think you need guns. But when yeah, you go in and folks SWAT attire... Guns blazing and drawn, that's no man, that is definitely excessive. Definitely excessive. Yeah, man, and then he come using the same tactics and then what he's talking about minutes using. And that's what they say, he's joking, man. He got two more years to be clowning around and therefore they running from old parliament, you know. Running from Don Don. Anyhow, uh, two minutes to five, you know, I got to call you back to talk with Brody to the Lakers. You can get, you can get your things. Yeah, anyhow, yeah, call back and we got that in, in full discussion. We can take a quick break right now. Yes, sir. And on the flip side of the break, we got Cuban Willie's immigration report, all brought you, of course, by the island game. You got your three ball and your four ball today. Good calls for everybody who chimed in, everybody who texted in. And hopefully, you know, we'll continue. Uh, the work of the Maritime Revenue Enhancement Task Force will continue, but they got to chill. They got to chill, put the guns up. Me need no, 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 no SWAT gear. Send some people good with math in them and their calculators and their computers and let them do their thing. We'll be fine. We'll get to where we need to be. We don't need this invasive, excessive tax form of tax collection. It's very Gestapo. I I must agree there. All right, quick break, flip side of the break. Cuban Willie coming at you, and then we go into the news. Keep it right where you got it. Don't touch it. You're listening to Talking Heads with Naughty. Only on Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Are you tired of the hustle and bustle of city life? Yearning for a relaxing getaway without the headaches of international travel? Well, we've got just the thing for you. Escape to paradise without leaving home with our limited time to fly free offer for Bahamas residents. Whether you're craving adventure, seeking to reconnect with your roots, or simply yearning to unwind in secluded shores, the Family Islands has something for everyone. But you better act fast because this incredible to fly free offer is only available until June 30th. Don't let this opportunity slip away. So why wait? Book your trip today. Escape the ordinary. Discover the extraordinary and experience the magic of the family islands. Visit BahamasResidence.com for more information and start planning your ultimate island getaway today. Cancer Treatment Centers of America is now City of Hope creating one of the leading cancer care and research networks from coast to coast, providing more of what you need. More locations means more care closer to home. More specialists means more expertise. More research means more breakthroughs. More advancements means more treatment options. And more options means more hope. Learn more at CancerCenter.com. Is it a burger? No. Is it pizza? Come on, man, it's KFC. Whatever the crunch this is, it's delicious. New, the Kentucky Cheetah Sandwich. Crispy chicken topped with marinara sauce, mozzarella, and pepperoni. Order your Cheetah Sandwich now at KFCNassau.com or at your favorite KFC restaurant today. It's new and it's radical. KFC, it's finger licking good. John Shoes and Accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. You will find what you're looking for among the growing collection of classic and trendy styles with new arrivals every week. John's covers the whole family and has great prices, helpful and friendly customer service. Your experience shopping with us will be time well spent. Shop with us online at www.johnshoes.com. John's also now carries small home appliances. So come on into John's located on Rosetta Street in Palmdale and Carmichael Road West. John's, we put fashion at your feet. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Feeling lucky? Here's Cuban Willie's numerology report. Brought to you by the Island Game. (laughs) 
Uepa, it's the fin de semana, people. It's the weekend, baby. And let me tell you, I got your double whammy slammy in my numerology report brought to you by the Island Game on Facebook, Instagram, and right here on the TikTok. Now the three ball, zero, three, zero. Very easy, okay? And the four ball, zero, six, three, zero. That's your four ball. Three ball and four ball. I give you the double whammy slammy. Lots of good luck. I see you Monday. Stay winning and playing, my friends, with the Island Gang. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. You're listening to Talking Heads with Naughty. Oh, only on Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. They say this for all. But I am some people world get that by shining at all. Talking Heads with Naughty is brought to you by the Bahamas Association of Athletics Associations, the Bahamas Alta Island Promotion Board, the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, the Cleveland Clinic, Fine Threads, Janae's Uniform Center, John's Department Store, Jerkers Wild, KFC, Naughty Johnny's, Percy's and Games, and Print Masters. So long. We can pray stop in the moonlight. Baby, if you with me, better do right. And I've been gone too long. And I'm hoping that you sing my song, my song. We're back at you on the Friday, June 28th edition of Talking Heads. You boy, Naughty and the Company, right up until 6 p.m. Talking sports. I know Pearly will be chiming in in, in short order. He should be chiming in like right now. So we're here from Pearly. But a uh, little FYI for you. BTC advises that they are scheduled to conduct a mass suspension for past due balances. Please safeguard your services by ensuring your accounts are current. Once again, BTC advises they are scheduled to conduct a mass suspension for past due balances. Please safeguard your services by ensuring your accounts are current. All right, let me know when Purdy zooms in there, Mr. Producer. While we wait on Purdy, I'm going to get into today in sports history, all brought to you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's. Don't forget, happy hour at Naughty Johnny's tonight, 5 to 7. Great highball specials, great drink specials, great, you know, appetizers, great uh, food specials going on as well. 5 to 7, definitely worth the trip out there to the Old Fort Shopping Plaza. And don't forget, breakfast on the weekend, breakfast, lunch, and dinner at Naughty Johnny's on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, starting at 9 a.m. All right, on this day in sports history, June 28th, 1997, Mike Tyson was disqualified for biting Evander Holyfield's air after three rounds of their WBA heavyweight title fight in Las Vegas, Nevada. 19. 19- 95, the NBA draft was held at the Sky Dome in Toronto, Ontario. It was the first time the draft was held outside the United States. 1996, Darryl Strawberry hit his 300th home run. And in 2000, Jeff Cirillo of the Colorado Rockies hit three home runs and a double against San Francisco. Sports quarter of the day, the minute you start talking about what you're going to do, if you lose, you've lost already. George Schultz. And that's a wrap on today in sports history. I'll brought you, of course, by Naughty Johnny's. We got Pearly in the building. What's going on, Pearly Simo? Trying to stay out of trouble. Uh, <laughs> okay. But, I'm uh, getting in trouble, but I'm trying to stay out. Yeah. You, don't want the, you do not want the, uh, and, and the Maritime Revenue Enhancement Task Force to show up if, if you're not in order. All right? Yeah, especially with all those big guns. Boy, I tell you. And you know, I'm thinking, Pearly. If you come to check my books or my taxes, I'm looking for a nerdy kind of dude who looks like he was on the math team, who did well in school. You know what I mean? I mean, normally that's what I, I, I arrest. I, I, I'm trying to, to see somebody like, too. like, like you know, like dressed like Will Smith in Men in Black. You know what I mean? Well, maybe yeah, but that that's basically with the IRS in the states too. They come to check you out. They walk in there, one or two guys in a black suit, looking like a nerd, a brilliant accountant, and that's it. I've never seen them go and raid a place with guns. To see if you pay your taxes. Boy, that's interesting. Very interesting. Anyway, don't forget, let's slide into the to the local home sport, the home court, the local sports, you know, brought to you, of course, by Burger King Nassau. And listen, it's all about the angry Whopper, the angry chicken, and the angry croissant. It's cool to get angry with Burger King, get angry at breakfast with the croissant, or throughout the day with the angry chicken or the angry Whopper waiting on you at your favorite Burger King Nassau location. All right, right off the top, strong performances turned in at the Nationals. 
some scheduling conflicts, might have thrown a monkey wrench here or there, but for the most part, we have a trio of Bahamians qualified for the women's 100-meter hurdles at the uh, Paris Olympic Games. Devin yeah. Charlton, Denisha Cartwright, and Charisma Taylor. Congratulations to all of them. Yeah. Wouldn't it be great to just see one, two, and three at the Olympics? Wouldn't that be wonderful? That oh, would be really something. Yeah. Uh-huh. So we'll keep an eye there. Team Bahamas lost to Greece in a scrimmage game. Uh, they lost to Greece 102 75. I understand the big boys didn't play. None. But he played for a minute or two. Yeah. Let's try to get the feet right. That's all. I don't think they want to. You don't, you don't want to show Spain and those guys what you got just yet, you know. No, and and um. So they were scouting. So we'll we'll see what's going on there. Keep an eye out there. But again, for you folks getting all up in arms, these are scrimmage games. They don't count. This isn't the official tournament yet. They don't mean a thing. All it is that's to see you run some plays, you try some things. It doesn't matter if you're gonna lose the game. It doesn't count. And of course, so, from sailing, as you know, we we had them on the show. Uh, before they took off, and now the ILCA for Youth Worlds is going on in Portugal. Yes. The 2024 ILCA International Laser Class Association for Youth World Championships. The largest youth sailing event in the world has commenced at the Club de Vela de Viana de Castelho in Viana de Castelho, Portugal. And a total of six promising young Bahamian sailors are in action. Each of the sailors have have completed five races in qualifying so far. And what are the results? Okay, we got... um Three uh, they had three well, I got this yesterday, they had three races yesterday to bring the total to five races they were in. Craig Ferguson is hundred and nineteenth, followed by Josh Knowles at two thirty six and John Alexio at two fifty nine. This is out of two hundred and seventy seven sail- sailors. In the girls, uh, Elisa Denning is forty ninth, Mary uh, Jack Nash is eighty second, and Sienna Jones is one hundredth out of one hundred and fifty sailors. Wow. Uh, Eliza, is, um, e- e- Eliza is bracketed with two Cayman sailors, and the three are top Caribbean female sailors in the event. Craig is just behind a Puerto Craig Ferguson, and this is just behind a Puerto Rican sailor, and they are the top Caribbean boys of the event. Uh, Eliza and Craig each have a top 20 finish. MJ and Sienna have a top 30 finish. Josh has two finishes in the 40s, and John has two finishes in the 50s. So uh, they take. Um, uh, as of tomorrow, so this will be, as of today, today Friday, said so this will be placed in either bronze, silver, or gold medal fleets, and sailed for three more days. So, so the we'll of the final results that are Friday, Saturday, till Sunday, Sunday or Monday morning. But they're doing really well, considering out of um, you know finishing in the top, finishing um, one nineteenth out of two hundred seventy seven around the world <laughs> is tremendous. Particularly on the young lady, she's forty ninth, you know, out of one hundred fifty. That is fantastic. That, that's so good results. Consider the magnitude of the field. Yes, consider yes, and this, you know, this is all over. These people come from all over the world. Some of these, you know, uh, sort of Eastern Road type kids, you know, been sailing from they were out, you know, three, four years old. It, it, yeah, but I mean, at the end of the day, I think that the foundation has been made. I think it gives yeah. an opportunity for other kids to come up through the pipeline and these guys to go as far as they can go. Because they're still young yeah. enough to get college scholarships and come back and represent us year after year. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, there's a goal to make the 2028 20, Olympics, so that's that's wonderful as well. So, so yeah. Look forward to it. Yeah. All right. Now that we get off the local scene, let's go international. All brought to you, of course, by Tropical Gyros. Who's in and who's out? And, of course, you know, Tropical Gyros serving you. Mackey Street location, the flagship store, open until 6. In the west is the R&D Plaza. They're open until 8. And over there in Freeport as well, doing big things for you. So no reason for you not to get your tropical gyro on. And like I always tell you, the Greeks may have invented the gyro, but Chef Karma and Tropical Gyros, they perfected it. Yeah, real good. I'm going to spine them up tomorrow. Yeah, I I usually hit the salad, so I'll spine them up soon, you know. All right, Pearly. Well, let's get to it right out of the way. Who's in and who's out? Let's address the elephant in the room with the number 55 pick, the Los you're Angeles you're Lakers you're select, you're Bronny you're James, who's going to win yeah. number nine for the Lakers. Yep. 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 But you know what's so funny about it? I couldn't tell you another 55th player picked in the last 20 years. Bro, they carried on like the 55th pick was the number one pick. Well, it's, it's the publicity of it, you know. I mean, incredible credit, do it is a it is a super accomplishment to have a father son playing. I mean, we had um, 
Barry Bonds and Bobby Bonds get a chance to play. Um, you know, you're seeing a lot of legacy players. Bo Bichette is Dante Bichette's son. Calvin uh, Biggio, Craig Biggio's son playing in the major leagues. And, and Vlad so Jr. Guess, and all of that. But listen, man, listen, Pretty, let's cut to the chase, okay? That's a great feel-good story. It's a, it's a wonderful PR if, story. If I wonderful. could do a comedy show with and Donnie opening, Sancho featuring, and me closing, that would be awesome. That would be wonderful. I, I, I'd love it. Okay. So what's the problem with it? Nepotism? But, what's the problem with it? It's great. In, in, in certain substances and instances. But I look at it in this case, and I say there was some extenuating circumstances. This was a forced move. Well, well, yeah, but I hear that. But, you know, 20 years from now, they'll be saying the Lakers is another first. No, no, the, uh, they want another story yeah. in Lakerland. That's great. I, yeah. I saw that dripping off Palenka when he went through. If you read in between in the press conference, it's not about winning. It's about the story. Yeah, but you know, I, I tell you, the Stephen A. Smith said after he saw Palenko's press conference, he called the, the producer of um, General Hospital and said, "You got another writer." He said, "I was got that was the soap soap." Uh, you talk, about I, talk about I could spin. You talk about I could spin. Palenka is a spinner. He's a lignum vitae top. Yeah, but the bottom line is, him and his dad will get a play in a couple of preseason games, and he's going to get shipped down to the D League. Purdy, if, if that if that is the case, that's fine. That's fine if that's the case. Now, now if he comes and he earns but, the spot, ah, uh, if he earns the spot and he plays his butt off, that, that's another thing. But if he gets that blind for fourteen and fifteen because of a story and it cuts off another player who should be on that on that squad, that's wrong. Well, we have to see. It's one thing with this game, you know, your dad could get you there, but you got to keep yourself. If there. I if I were Barney, I'd keep my head down. I would bust my butt playing defense, and I would drain every open shot I had. And, and you know and all eyes are going to be on him because who was his dad? You know, they they make you and Victor and, uh, and the Greek freak brother everywhere he no, goes. No. Brother go and I am going to I am going to firmly brother. keep my my distaste for LeBron intact and heap this on him. Bronny is a young kid who don't deserve the pressure that's being heaped on him. Okay, well, Bron well, Bronny well, Bronny's what 18, 17, 18? He's no, he's eighteen, nineteen, somewhere around there. But the fact that you're LeBron's son. You that on you. So it's not that you choose that you want to be a basketball player. You can tell them, don't pick me in the first round if I don't deserve it. You know, you, you're telling people you want to be there. You and want I, this. You're eating this up. So and I'll tell you something. The, the Lakers got possibly the best shooter in the draft who was scheduled to go five or six at 17. An absolute steal in Dalton Connect from Tennessee. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he to me is Dan Marley 2.0, Pearly. I don't know if, if you noticed it, but he's got a lot of Dan Marley qualities. He, he got a little more speed than Dan. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He, he, I can't let you do that. Dan was nasty, and Dan had a lot of speed. You can't, you can't. No, Dan, was, I'm not, I'm not knocking Dan. I'm saying he was, but I think he's just a step above. I think he's a better shooter than Dan Marley, but he reminds me, he reminds me of Dan Marley. And 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 Dan yeah. Marley could shoot, so that should tell you something about Dawson and Connect. I think he reminds people uh, 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 like me of Dan Marley more because of the inside game, the three levels, the three ball, the mid range, and down low to the bucket. He can dunk you off. Yeah. He can assist, and he, he plays finish. defense. So yeah, so I, I I like the pick, but he didn't get as much a shine as he should because everybody was focusing on Bronny at fifty five. Let's go to the phone lines real quick. Talking heads. Hey, what's it, Naughty? Hey, what's going on, Skillaboo? Where's it, boy? I ain't talk to you, but still, I got to get something out of the way. I told you Clay wasn't going to be playing for the national team. I told you that. Uh, don't worry about Clay, then. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to put another one in the column for Naughty and an, I, another I want in the to, column I for Skiller. I want you to let's focus on this 56th pick. No, right? no, no, no. Stop, 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 nope. stop. No, no, before you get into it, before Pearly get into it, let me make this announcement right here. Okay. I will be informed of the Lakers through my good friend Pearly, through my good friend Skillaboo, because I'm going back in self-imposed Laker exile. Spare me the days of our lives. Fresh kid, a, a, a belly, a BS. i going back to practice Marantafarianism till this foolishness is over. No, anyway, go ahead. But Naughty, that's what I want to ask you on Pearly, right? Concerning the 56th pick, I didn't say nothing about Bronny. Concerning the 56th pick, between you all two, who was Best available at the 56th pick. Who was the 56th pick? Remind me. Because I, I, I walked outside now. cursing and carrying on once uh, Bronny was taken. Noise that his, his, team, his Bronny's teammate who 
had much better stats than him was not picked at all. Oh, you mean that a kid from have, USC who wasn't even yeah, picked? I what about the big dude? From Wisconsin, the Bahamian brother wasn't picked at all either. Who? But hold on. Hold I on. Have, what about what about the center from NC State, the big guy who, who the but, Lakers but need a big yeah, body in the middle? But, yeah, but uh, uh, yeah, sure. Really? Uh, sure, but him. Really? Why? Why you a naughty? Uh, going around the merry board with me. All I'm asking is, right, we know every every pick, 56, 57, 58, 58, they have in those areas best available. I'm asking you all too. And Bronny What's wasn't the best, best available, available at 55. But yeah. anyway, go ahead. You, know, you, can't, naughty. you can't say that because a lot of other analysts out there thinking that was not a bad pick. So you can't be not because you have a dislike for LeBron and understand what they're doing. You're gonna say that. Hold on, I, no, 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 buddy, don't tell me, don't tell me, no, no, stop, 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 stop. No, 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 no one no, second, don't no, say because I dislike no, LeBron. No, the kid, the kid from USC, his teammate was infinitely better. And I say the kid from the NC well, State, the center. Stats. That don't mean no. You guys say infinitely better. He had better stats. I don't mean he was a better player. But, okay, okay. Let's not watch this now, Naughty. He had more players. Don't just say just now. Remember now, LeBron, the boy had a heart. Hard cardiac arrest, and he was limited in his playing time and all that. So all that was a part of it. Listen, double play. So you can take it. Hold on, you can take a dude who played infinitely less over a dude who played plenty minutes for his team and led the team in scoring. Not necessarily. I'll take a dude who may have better talent at that position, which you, which your need is in that position. But I'm not naughty. saying he is or not, but I don't know because you you can't definitely say he was a better player, naughty. You don't know that. Hold on, naughty. I, I would have taken for Lakers needs. Let's keep it 100. For Lakers needs Burns right there, 6'10", 275 from NC State. A rim protector, a blocker, and bad man back to the bucket was right there. That Naughty. puts, that him? puts him? He, nobody picked him. Naughty. Listen okay, to me. so if nobody Naughty. picked him, that tells what? you something that may be something. He's no, pick. because if they could go ahead and get uh, uh, get him as an undrafted free agent, they will. A lot of teams will make a gamble okay, on a Euro okay, player, so on and so forth. If you want to make the gamble on Bronny, fine. But don't but sit Johnny, there and tell me there were other Johnny. people not in the conversation for the 55th pick. That's Johnny, only being fair. I'm not saying that, but I'm right, not saying Johnny. that other people are, that he's, he's not the better one to be picked then. That's uh, okay, all right. fine. Don't know. We'll see how it plays out. Go ahead, Skiller. Listen, listen to this, right? Now, I heard you say it earlier about the 17th pick. You said that he's supposed to be at the fifth pick. Now, why he ended up seven? He should have been at the fifth or sixth pick, but you had a wave of French he basketball. Up, he even ended up in the tenth. Skilla, Skilla, if you want to yeah. ask me a question, then you need to let me answer it. Okay. Have is Go on, he's, 20, he's 23 because he's 23 years old. Hold on. He's let me... one of the oldest. He's one of the oldest players in the draft, and a lot of teams, for some reason, stayed away from guys that old and went with the 18, 19, 20 year olds. And if you look at the first 16 pick, I think every one of them is either 20 or no more than 21. And the and so the and, and the log right? jam of French players, three going in the top six, and two of them not going with it. Well, one of them not going where they supposed to caused the breakdown. And furthermore, like Pearlie said. There's been a lot of things a la the NFL now in the NBA draft where these guys are getting super analyzed. Look at Filipowski from Duke, a true number one can, uh, prospect for a first-round pick. Gone in the second round. Why? Because the draft experts and, and the scouts said he had an unstable family situation. Okay. Now, you hear what you just say, the draft expert. Okay, and I'm telling you, hold on. Oh, no, wait, stop. Let me answer, Skiller. Go on, go on. One of the biggest draft experts ever, Mel Kuyper. How, how many times he been wrong? No, but I, no, I worry, but who So they wrong. wrong, and in this I case, in my opinion, it. letting Dalton Connect drop to 17 to the Lakers and we'll take it fine was a huge mistake by 16 other GMs. But you got 16 other teams what didn't pick him up. That doesn't mean they wouldn't take him. They looked at what options. Did? All right, but let me give you an did? example. Let me give you an example. Go the on. number one pick who went to the Hawks could have been the number two pick who went to Washington. Those two were interchangeable. It was an opinion of who they liked more, meaning these two bring a lot of the same skill set to the table. I got a better feeling about him. Naughty, listen to that. That nigga six six. Right? Who? Six, Dalton eight. Connect? He's 6'8. Right. The best three point shooter out of the whole pack, right? So you would tell me 
got in none of them teams that need a three-point shooter from 1 to 16. They may have loved the value, but they needed something else to plug and play on okay, their team. I'm glad what you said. The same thing with the Lakers. The Lakers, the Lakers is- don't need a six-foot-one guard at the 55th position oh, when we need a the center in the middle. Pick. At the 56th pick. We don't need Lakers an need average 6'1 guard. We don't need a 6'1 guard at, at the 55th pick when we need glaring holes filled in the front line. Let's Period. Say, you know what they pick him for? Because he daddy named LeBron and they want a story in L.A. Hold they on. want they want to put boogies in the seats. That's Hold what they want to do. Naughty, they picked him like Stephen, like Stephen Ray say, Stephen A. Stephen A. Smith said. They picked him because he is a good defender on the wing. They picked him because his daddy is named LeBron and Clutch Sports jumped on the phone and said, if you draft I'm this kid, I'm he I'm is going to go to Australia and it's going to be a problem. Buddy, Don't tell me you ain't buying this kid when it was put out there, bro. No, 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 no. That's, that's conspiracy. That was in, that was in thing. picking him. That was in that. Think about it. That's what? fine, but when, t- but Purdy, that's to my him. point. That's when to my point. Him, you know where LeBron and his family was? They were surprised and all. They were surprised. Anyway, on, still up, still up. Let me let you know something moving forward, though. If you can yeah. ask me a question, you need to let me answer. This ain't a skiller show. Okay. This naughty and Purdy. Yeah. And you want to try beat the same point over and over. The point is, oh. at 55, my opinion, it ain't gonna change. That was not the right pick. Okay. He was picked because his daddy named LeBron and Palinka brought into the story and the Lakers want to sell tickets and make money. They don't care about championships. Three years from now, we could be having the same conversation and the Lakers going to be ringless. Just like okay. I told you about the first six years it played out, the next three years could play out. But with the same conviction, you like to call and tell me I'm wrong, which is few and far between. You need to have the same conviction and call and tell me when I'm right. Well, I, I told well, you. Well, uh, no, 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 no. You called beating up your gum all week by Clay Thompson was going to be on the national team. Is Clay Thompson on the national team? Well, he ain't there now. No, he's not going to be, like I told you, and yeah, for the reasons why. Naughty, if he ain't going to be on the national team, right? That ain't going to stop the fellas them from playing? No, but it going to make you say I was right and you was wrong. That's what it could do. I say you was right. That's what, the, that's what, what we could do, Skiller. with me? I open for correction. Yeah, but be corrected. He ain't gonna play on the team. Okay. Well, I, I with you. He all right. Him. He didn't make it. And you right. could, you could feel the way you want about the 55th pick is all good. I, I feel the way I feel. But guess what? I could be hearing about the Lakers from y'all. I watching the Grizzlies. I watching OKC. I watching uh, Boston. I watching other uh, teams and I enjoy in basketball. Now, hold on. Now, remember, Naughty, that the Lakers, they had two pick in uh, the draft. They still have more weight to be done according to what the coach said. Everybody had two picks in the draft, Skiller. What are you talking about? That's what I'm saying. So now they have some work to be done concerning some free agent players. They got to add some pieces Mm. and they got to release some pieces. I I really don't care. I'll care about the Lakers when I hear LeBron gone and Bronny gone. Yeah, that can be a little while. That could be three years. Uh Uh-uh. And then they start it up with Bryce, the real the player. The, no, no. LeBron might retire. Hold on. He get a contract. Only way I could watch the Lakers if they do the same foolishness in three years and get Bryce James. And Bryce James I'll pull for. Because unlike he Park and unlike he brother, no, he, he got more the mentality. He ain't scared. He, he you foul him, he's come back down and dunk you to the ground. You, the you put a play on him, he's drill a three in your face and let you know he did it with his goggles on like James Worthy. Lakers, yeah. Pick him up. Why? Uh, Why? If LeBron there for three uh, years and uh, it going out there and he can muster up going another couple of years to make the money, he'll do it. And to push his son, he'll do it. What are you I talking think, about? I don't think it go like that, though, Naughty. I don't think it go like that. Listen, bro. From you get an agent jumping on the phone like saying, that. don't you don't draft that. this kid. Yeah. Either some people wanted to draft him or they was making sure yeah. he was going to be there for the Lakers to pick him at 55 as discussed. Hold on. You remember when the Lakers did pick up what he named? Chris, what do you name? What the what the fella name what is play for the Warriors now? That's the 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 guy. Chris Paul? Chris Paul. You remember in the Lakers that pick up Chris Paul? We never picked up Chris Paul. They didn't allow the trade to go through. They did pick him up and the thing of take him the the the, the NBA. They take him, him to the Skiller. 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 Excuse me. 
Yeah, let's is- start. Just get it. If you can call it, call it right. You can't come with mumbo jumbo stats that aren't the case. The trade was put through. David Stern declined the trade, vetoed the trade. He never went nowhere. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So don't say he was traded to the Lakers because he wasn't. The trade was mixed. He never crossed. He stayed with the Hornets. Then he went to the Clippers. Okay, you was right, but how they how it Again. Going. I'm trying to show you the same thing concerning LeBron's son. What in the NBA? Not the one with reached it. Not Ronnie. The other one. The Lakers can't talk, but they can wait for LeBron to get him. That ain't nothing sure. They ain't sure that. He could be the first round player. Do Lakers them have any if first round players? It's a possibility it's for them to land Bryce James when it's his time and put another two or three years on LeBron walking up the court and on a walker with the his first sons. Round pick in the next three years. And the Lakers ain't get that pick. How they get it? The Lakers may trade up to get him. You don't know. No, but people ain't gonna want to do that. You don't know. You think a team gonna want to take a trade from Lakers? Hold on. Just how, just how you say, I don't know if he could be the number one pick. You don't know if somebody will trade up to get him. Okay, okay. But I, someone could do it, but I know it wouldn't be the Lakers. Anyway, yeah, okay. And, and Clay Thompson was to play for Team Bahamas. Have a good huh? weekend, man. Skill be safe. Let me get to these other calls. Hey. <sighs> anyway, Pearly. Yes. We could have used the big. Flipowski was still there, too. It's a, re- it's a reason why for, for, uh, he went up. He went, no, a, he wasn't there at 55. He went at 32. Oh, boy. Here's another something now that's coming out. Let, let, let's get off this, and let's get to the NFL. This is coming out in Swirling now, too. I don't know. I don't think the Cowboys are going to resign Doc, you know. I think the Cowboys are not going to resign Doc. I think you don't have, they want to pay him that money. And I think they're going all in with Trey Lance because I'm, I'm hearing Trey Lance is having a great camp and the chemistry with the receivers are really good. Yes, sir. There's somebody that's going to snatch him. Well, Baltimore is apparently in the, in, in the, in the runnings because they want a long-term backup for Lamar Jackson and they're willing to pay him. To pay Doc as a backup? No, 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 no. Uh, Trey Lance. Well... No, that's who they're trying to get as the long-term backup for Lamar is Trey Lance. They've, they've already started dialogue, and Dallas had to shut it down. No, no, they, 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 you want me to tell you what Doc could be? If the Cowboys do not sign Doc Prescott this year. He's you, gonna, he'll be your starting quarterback this year, and then he'll just walk next year. And guess somebody what? Do you know who will money. open up the checkbook for him next year if he leaves out of Dallas? Somebody will. The Las Just Vegas sure. Raiders, brother. They probably will because he's still got the quality, and they, I don't, I don't, I don't they, think it's all. He thing. got Las Vegas Raiders written all over him, brother. And that'd be something good, and the Raiders take, him, he take them to the Super Bowl. Uh, don't even say it. Don't even say it. Don't even say it. Mm. Text, I, I agree. I agree Bryce may be the best of the bunch, and he may end up being a lottery pick, but guess what? You all, we, we all know. That if LeBron won him on the Lakers and it's a lottery pick, Rich Paul and them will go get it done. Uh, it ain't that easy. It ain't that easy. Yeah, go I know. James no, Worthy, no, James no, Worthy no, wasn't no, that no, easy, no. right, Burley? James Worthy wasn't that easy. Magic wasn't that easy. No, no, no. They, they, no, 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 no. That was, they were easy. They moved. There were trades that were made years in advance. There were trades that were made, and they got those number one picks for those teams. And those so teams you mean to tell me the Lakers flip. don't have the propensity in their, lock, the, the in, in their front the office to make a trade? A coin flip. The Lakers got worthy on a coin flip. They won the coin flip. The, so the Lakers can't make a move. In their history of big moves, the Lakers can't make one more big move? So with what? With what? Get creative. How? I saw Jerry West get, get Pau Gasol for Kwame Brown. That's all I need to know. Yeah, but they also gave up some other some other picks as well for that. Well, here, so now we can get a big man. Charlotte have waived, um, 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 what's his name? JaVale McGee. Why don't we go get JaVale to play center again? He's Bring on, him back. He's only 86 no years old. Got to be, be a reason why they waived him. Yeah, he's only 86. Okay. <laughs> we don't need him right now. No. Listen, I'd rather talk football right now because at the end of the day, all this is right now is NBA offseason drivel. When it comes well, to they're October, trying, they're trying to do with the end when the NFL does and keep to keep the NFL talk on. Keep people yeah, interested, to yeah. To keep people talking about it, because we've been trying. I've been trying to. People been texting me and say, "Let's talk NFL." I've been trying to get to NFL, but every time they talk, something else comes up. Now let's talk uh, WNBA. Look like your home girl had a next uh, another double double in a row, eighteen and eleven last night. Oh yeah, she did. We lost the game, but she did well. 
listen, I, I don't mind Jonas Volchanis in L.A. Texter, but we got to get a big, bro. We got to get a big. If this team is going to be anything effective with AD and Connect and LeBron and adding Christie to the to the minutes rotation and a couple of other young pieces, Hachimura and, and, and Reeves, Listen, we need a big to make it happen. Yeah, but a lot, but a lot of a lot of teams have moved away from the big. A lot of teams have moved away from that that traditional big and get a get a, a, Purdy, a spread. I, I don't, I don't need, I don't need a big a stretch. Stephen Adam, stretch, I don't need a Stephen Adams kind of Frankenstein big. You know, I need a big who, if he can shoot the three, but could rim protect and block shots. That's what we need uh, down there yeah, in the center. Who, who, who does that? Who does that for Boston? What you mean? Who does that for Boston? Yeah, who does that for Boston? They have a multitude of stiffs at Santa who come in and do what they need to do. Oh, okay. Stiffs, you said. Stiffs. I don't care. Give me three stiffs like the Bulls had. I don't care. a couple of stiffs there already. Don't, and, and there's a kid riding the bench who's supposed to get some playing time this year, the, white, the big white kid. Seven, the six, the eleven white kid. Please. He ain't even going to be on the roster. But he's a stiff. But he ain't going to be on the roster because they have other stiffs more stiffer than him. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. They got other yeah, stiffs right. more stiff than them. My question in this whole LeBron James thing, right? And Bronny yeah. going to the to the Lakers. Now, you know, I, I don't like to deal with hypocrisy. And I need to hear something for LeBron because a couple of years back when De- Delonte West and, and LeBron's mom had relations, LeBron was quite upset. Well, you mean because but how does he feel he's now, now that, that he's sleeping with one of his teammates' mom? His teammate's mother. He's, he's sleeping with one of his teammates' mommy and been doing it for years. How, how does he feel now? Well, because he's now dating his teammate's mother. He's sleeping with his teammate's mommy. Well, how, how you feel now, LeBron? You didn't like it when somebody did it with yours. How, how you feel now? Yeah, come on, but that's his wife, so come on. That, uh, hey, that's my joke, and I'm sticking to it, buddy. I'm right. that open and jokers tonight, too, and right. have a laugh. Right. Oh, Lord. Everybody, everybody, everybody talking about that today. Yeah, I mean, great minds think alike, man. There, there was about four or five comics from about 8 o'clock this morning. We was in a chat group talking fool. All right. Okay. And all when right. I dropped okay. that on them, all of them they didn't say, yeah, we run with that one. That's a good one right there. Run with that one. <laughs> I hear that. They even had some. They even had some, some other LeBron jokes that I can't repeat on here. But I'll tell you mm-hmm. in person. <laughs> So you got good comedians and jokers this weekend? Yeah, man. Trenton Davis headliner and Lisa Gilbert feature. They're very, very funny, man. Very funny. Okay. Come get your laugh on. It's two for one on locals too, man. So definitely take advantage of that. Doors open at 8. Showtime is 9.15 and it's Tuesday through Sunday. So you can't go wrong. So you honestly don't think Dallas is going to resign Doc? Um, yeah, I don't think they're going to resign it. But we'll know between now and next weekend. If it's going to happen or not. Because I think if you get in the training camp, it's not done. It's not going to happen. No, if they don't sign Doc, I think the money's going to C.D. Lamb and Michael Parsons. I don't think they're going to the sign only, Doc. The only problem with that is if Doc leads you guys to the NFC Championship game or better. You didn't let me finish. You didn't let me finish. If he okay. gets if he gets to that, if he does a Flacco, and they got in the NFC Championship, you got to go to the Super Bowl and win it. If he does a Flacco, then the Cowboys will break the bank and pay him. No, NFC Championship, if you get, you know, and if you go and make a good showing in NFC Yeah, championship, maybe even NFC championship, championship, that's when they'll bring the bank and pay him. If not, they're going to yeah, let him walk. This is pretty stupid because the Dolphins doing the same thing, allowing Tua money to go up every week. And if if Tua decide to juke you all and go elsewhere, you all going to be in a problem. Well, we got we got control of him. Or we got control of him this year. We can franchise him for three more years, so he ain't got nowhere to go. All right. So I mean that ain't concerned that he's going anywhere. He could we could keep we got him under contract this year. This is third year. Got him under contract for his fourth year, and then we could franchise him. So we ain't got nowhere to go. We did the Dolphins have him for at least three more years, regardless of what happens. However, the longer they take and the better he looks. The, the more money you're gonna have to pay. Because Trevor Lawrence got all that money and he deserves more than Trevor Lawrence because his numbers are better than Trevor Lawrence. He's put up more and he's played better than Trevor Lawrence. And you get Trevor Lawrence that money, okay, what you can do? You got to pay somebody. And I think Doc holding out, I think the Doc may be stalling to see what Tua gets, because that determines what Doc gets. Interesting, interesting. So if Tua gets 55, you can rest assured Doc getting 60. Doc, Doc looking to get stupid money to begin with. Yeah, and guess what? I don't have a problem paying them the money, you know, because I, like I keep telling people, 
The fans ain't coming to watch Jerry Jones play. They coming to watch Dak Prescott. They Correct. To watch and, and if Prescott. other scrubs around the league could get money because of the lighter hue and complexion of their skin and not the stats and the numbers, Dak could get his too. I'm out at you. I have not worried about worry, that. If people paying and they're making the money for me to come see me play, pay him part of that money you're making. You ain't got to make it or let the players make it. I never have a problem with players making money, particularly if they, they're popular and people coming to see them play. All right, Pearlie, we got to get into some picks. All right. Because we got a great we final. Take, we, we got. We ain't take no break. You just want to sing around? What you mean? Ain't no break. We can take a break. Let's not on. This Thursday or this Friday? This Friday. So you fly the Millennium or you fly it on Thursday? Okay. All I right. can fly it how I fly, fly it on Friday. All right. No problem. All right? Jeez. Y'all, y'all. You, you, you know, I have to call them, because you really, you, you really itchy today. Something, you know, something you lacking or something. No, I ain't lacking nothing. I ain't lacking nothing. I just, again, if I call something ahead of time, it could play out. I'm telling you all we're coming. Three years of, of mediocrity in LA. Three years of great feel-good father-son stories, don't get me wrong. But on the court, pff, mediocre at best. And God forbid we come to another playing game. Mm-mm. I can have a field day with that. That's all, Pearly. That's all. I, I really I really feel how I'm the direction the Lakers going. I, I really feel in it, bro. Yeah, because you can't let you can't stop talking about it. Because it's bothersome. It's because I, I don't get all the blood, sweat, and tears and risk that Jerry Buss Senior, Dr. Jerry Buss. Lord bless the dead. Jerry West, Lord bless the dead. How they built that team and how creatively they got superstars there overnight. How they became the dominant force in the NBA from the 80s until now. Yeah, the Celtics got 18, but we know 10 of them came in an era that could be disputed. Why are you letting this Camelot crumble without getting serious, man? And it's proof. Jerry's kid, Dr. Jerry's boss's kids, they're not a chip off the old block. I thought Jeannie was, but she's not. Usa. They're not him. Usa. So, like I said, I will I will will hear about the Lake my Lakers from y'all. I'm in South Imposed Lake Exile. I'm not gonna get upset watching basketball, watching them. I go watch other teams and enjoy the games and you know, play my part and have fun. I'm good. <laughs> Speaking of which, oh yes, and don't forget for y'all texters, I don't want y'all to forget. The, the, the yes text of the wrestling is definitely going on most definitely going on and um, doors open at uh, 5 o'clock showtime is at 8 it's out there at Bahama Andrus Ballroom tickets still available eventbrite.com online or at the door and 9 great matches I'm going to be the ring announcer I'm going to be hosting it looking forward to it it's going to be a ball man Purdy going to be out there I'm going to be out there it's going to be a great time Get your tickets now because what we've heard, VIP is almost completely gone, if not gone. Uh, there were limited seats to begin with, only like 400, 500 seats, and almost all of those are gone. So copy your tickets now if you haven't done so. They're available for you at eventbrite.com and, of course, at the door. All right? So you don't want to miss out on that. And like I said, fully loaded lineup, great show. It's going to be off the chain. You definitely want to come out and, and check it out. All right? So, yeah, definitely tomorrow be there, man. And, and when you there, text, man, shout us out. Let us know you're listening to Talking Heads, man, so me and Purdy can know who our listeners are, man. Good stuff. Exactly, exactly. All right, so let's get into these picks, Purdy. You got the final 10, uh, final 11, right, Mr. Producer? All right, Purdy, we got to get in quick. We're doing WNBA tonight, man, um, and, and baseball. And be sure, like I say, to simply log on to theislandgame.com, check out the sports book, find out all the ways to play, all the ways to win, and they always remind you to play responsibly. All right, here we go. Let's check out the WNBA for tonight, Pearly. What we got tonight in the WNBA? Let's have a gander. Oh, we got two big games tonight in the WNBA. The yeah, Connecticut yeah. Sun, 10-point favorites over the Atlanta Dream. I like the Sun to win it, but not by 10. They came out of a dogfight last night. Yeah, they should be a little tired. So I, I like them to win. I'll take them in the money line, but I won't lay the 10 points. Phoenix Mercury by 10 in Phoenix over the Sparks. Listen, I like the Mercury to win this, but they do play to the level of that competition. Uh, Brinks is injured for the Sparks. They got some other injuries. I like the Mercury to win this one. I'm going to play it safe and go with the money line. Yeah, me too. And then if you want to look at uh, some soccer, 12 o'clock tomorrow, you got Switzerland and Italy. 
3 o'clock, you got Germany and Denmark. I like Italy to take care of Switzerland. And I like Germany to knock off Denmark. Uh, okay, I'll go with that too. And on Sunday, I like Spain over Georgia and, and England over Slovakia. Now, Georgia coming off a big win off of Portugal, but they can, that's, their, that's their win there. They can be a little high. I think Spain can bring them Spain down. Spain beat them three to nothing. Watch. Okay. All right. Spain got rest. Spain is playing well. Spain's looking like that, that, that World Cup team from years back. They, they got some younger players, and they're playing very well at a high level, so I can't be mad at them at all. All right, party. So now we're going to take the break like you want. And on the flip side of the break, Stephen A. Smith going to take us home talking all things LeBron James. Uh, I, I tell you, 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 okay, no problem. Why you don't like Stephen A? No, I don't. I know you still tie up on the. No, no, no. James. The only reason why I put that on there, I wanted people to hear Stephen A's take on it so they can compare it to our take. You are taking my take and Skiller's take. That's all. Okay, no problem. I'm, I'm keeping it topical today. I got you. Okay. Hey, I, I hear Bauer's supposed to get uh, reinstated into Major League Baseball. <laughs> By whom? I hear that they're pushing for that now, though. I hear you, they they trying to really push for it. He won't, he won't be a Dodger, I promise you that. That's fine, but at some point now, they, they need to let him back in. Yeah, but he won't be a Dodger. That's okay. Pinstripes, baby. Pinstripes. Go right, go right ahead. Yeah, and, and, and as of today, I heard some rumblings uh, about a potential Jazz Chisholm trade from the yep, Yankees to the Marlins. Uh, you're hoping too much. Not no, they, they were going three for one. Yeah? They were going three for one with some good, sweet prospects, too. To tell you the truth. What prospects y'all get y'all can possibly give them? We're not pitching, but I mean, we got some infielders and we got a nice That's little stack out here. They don't have no problem there. They need, they need pitching. Hey, there's a, way, there's a way to get it done, okay? I, I'm telling okay. you. I'm telling you, don't don't sleep. I, I would say y'all are still the front runners, Pearly, because <laughs> y'all are the Dodgers and y'all do things. But, um... Keep an eye out. There's, there's tremendous potential there with the Yankees. Offering that three for one. You never know. You never know. We'll see. Anyway, let's get to the break, Pearly. Have a great weekend, man. Bahamas, be good. And if you can't be good, we got out it. We'll see you Monday right here on Talking Heads. You're listening to Talking Heads with Naughty. Oh, only on Guardian Radio. 96.9 FM. You try to rest, but roll with the best. For all your printing needs, there ain't no one better, no. For posters and banners, magazines and flyers. For window decals, reading cards and newsletters. No job too big and there's no job too small. You name it, we can print it. Just give us a call. Let print masters bring your masterpiece to life. Located in the Nassau Guardian Building, telephone 302-2361. Cancer Treatment Centers of America is now City of Hope creating one of the leading cancer care and research networks from coast to coast, providing more of what you need. More locations means more care closer to home. More specialists means more expertise. More research means more breakthroughs. More advancements means more treatment options. And more options means more hope. Learn more at cancercenter.com. Is it a burger? No. Is it pizza? Come on, man, it's KFC. Whatever the crunch this is, it's delicious. New, the Kentucky Cheetah Sandwich. Crispy chicken topped with marinara sauce, mozzarella, and pepperoni. Order your Cheetah Sandwich now at KFCNassau.com or at your favorite KFC restaurant today. It's new and it's radical. KFC, it's finger licking good. John's Shoes and Accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. You will find what you're looking for among the growing collection of classic and trendy styles with new arrivals every week. John's covers the whole family and has great prices, helpful and friendly customer service. Your experience shopping with us will be time well spent. Shop with us online at www.johnshoes.com. John's also now carries small home appliances. So come on into John's located on Rosetta Street in Palmdale and Carmichael Road West. John's, we put fashion at your feet. 
Flavid Island Gangs. We making dreams come true. Flavid Island Gangs. We paying more out to you. Don't mind the noise in the market. You getting cash in your pocket. Cause Island Games is spicy and spicy is tradition. So when you play, play Island we putting Bahamian spice. Guaranteed to pay Island Games. We like them mother jokers. We've been here from the start. From the bike to computer. Island Games. We can make your dreams come true. We playing with Island Games. With fine style, with elegant taste, then fine threads is your place. If you want those slots hemmed or just taking the waist, then fine threads is your place. If you want to look suave and never near everywhere you go, like you're supposed to be in a video. Want to step out and look great? Then fine threads is your place. With fine style, with elegant taste, then fine threads is your place. Is your place. Is your place. Happy Independence Bahamas! Let's celebrate 50 plus 1 together with a unique Janae's Uniform Center Independence print, dry fit polo or t-shirts, ribbons and pole bows in black, gold and aquamarine. Janae's special family package includes buy two adults and three children independence polos or t-shirts and get 15% off. Outfit your staff for a special independence dress of week or day with a different design. For more than 30 pieces of Janae's Independence polos or t-shirts, get up to 25% discount. Janae's Uniform Center Chesapeake Road Independence Selections. Choose your favorite and celebrate 50 plus one. Mama Restrictions yeah. apply. I bought it, I bought it. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Because GM Rob Plinka spoke about the historic day. In the history of the NBA, there's never been um, a father and a son that have shared an NBA basketball court and that feels like something that could be magical. And we know and have to respect, of course, that LeBron has a decision about his opt-out. Um, and I'm sure he and his family and his agent will deliberate what they're going to do there. And, of course, he has freedom to decide whatever's best for him and his family. But if it worked out that he was on our team next season, NBA history could be made. And NBA history should be made in a Lakers uniform. Jay Will is back, and Brian Whitworth is here. I just, uh, I just think it's important to point out very great tie, Wendy. Great <laughs> tie, strong. great tie. That's uh -huh, strong. Uh -huh. That's strong right there. Thank you, sir. I, I, I just think it's important to point out that Rob Palenka, he forgot the tissue. He, he, Stop. He, he Leave this forgot, man alone. He just, he just he's, he forgot the <laughs> tissue. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when you have a when you, when you have a press conference like that, stuff like that, I already called General Hospital. Ready, call him. Ready, call him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got to roll for him. You we got like, the player we've been waiting for. We got for. the player we've been waiting for. And, and if, 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 if we're lucky enough and we'll see what happens, and it's LeBron's decision and we'll see what he's going to do. But if that happens, I mean, everything was there right. but the tissue. The line, the line that really went. got me, though, S.A., was we just want LeBron to do what's right for him and this his is, family. Right, 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 right. Oh, sure. The drama. I love it. <laughs> Come on, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, I can't help myself. I'm sorry. Really I'm sorry. It's Wendy, really I'm going to start with you on this one. What do you think is next for the Lakers? Yeah, let me just follow up on Stephen A. right there. We have seen some elaborate stuff happen over the years in terms of recruiting free agents. Helicopter rides, private jets, you know, videos, you know, all this stuff. Nothing will top drafting the guy's son. That is going to go down as the greatest ever move to knock, to make sure you knock, lock up a free agent. Okay, so the Lakers, they have had a big week or so hiring J.J. Redick and then going through the draft, not just getting Bronny James, which is obviously what everybody's focused on, but they had a really interesting pick on Wednesday night with Dalton Connect out of Tennessee. That is a guy that there's a lot of people excited about. Okay, now they have to roll up their sleeves and really try to look at this roster. And they have an interesting set of circumstances, guys, that is going to surround D'Angelo Russell and his contract uh, option decision, which he has to do by tomorrow. Now, I want to say a point to this about Russell. Russell played 76 games last year. He was effective off the bench. He was effective in the starting lineup. He averaged 18 points in those 76 games. He shot 42% from three-point range in those games. That is a productive player. He is an inconsistent player. He is not always great defensively, but he's definitely a productive player. He has a contract for nine, about $19 million. If he opts into that contract, it will have the Lakers going down one road. 
If he doesn't opt into that contract, he will have the Lakers go down the other road. And this is where the LeBron thing gets interesting. Now, first off, if he opts in, the Lakers can keep him, run it back with him and Austin Reeves in the starting backcourt. We'll, we'll see whether J.J. Redick likes that. Or, or they can move him, Stephen A. That is exactly right. There are players out there that are available that would be interesting. Kyle Kuzma is a player who's been very available in the trade market dating back to February, has been around, obviously uh, won a championship with the Lakers. That is a player that you could include in an offer, uh, put D'Angelo Russell in there, get the Wizards off of the money they owe Kyle Kuzma. I'm not saying either of those would happen. I'm just giving you an example of what the Lakers could do if they decided to trade D'Angelo Russell, if he opted in. They could also keep him, just to be clear. But if he opted in and they wanted to trade him, those are the types of players they could look at. Okay, now let's get interesting. Let's say D'Angelo Russell, not sure he wants to get traded, unsure what's going to hit, what his role would be under J.J. Redick, decides to opt out, okay? And to be honest with you, I don't have a great feel for what this is going to be. I thought maybe a month or so ago D'Angelo would opt out. Now I think there's a chance, a stronger chance he will opt in because the market isn't looking so great right now. We can talk about that later, but I'm now kind of leaning that direction. But if he does opt out, now we have something interesting. The Lakers don't have salary cap space, even if Russell opts out. But, guys, but if LeBron was willing to take a little bit of a pay cut, now it may sound easy for me to say little because um, it would be more than $10 million, but he, was, would, he can make about 50. If he was willing to take his salary down to about $38 million from about 50. $12 million, the Lakers would have the ability to sign players on the mid-level exception of $12 million. <laughs> and it would open up more options for them in trade and stuff like that. Yeah. Now, LeBron, as you guys know, has always been, you're paying me the max money, and he's been probably worth twice that on most years, even with the max. He is. Mm -hmm. Times are different now. Is it possible that LeBron would engage in looking at taking a pay cut if he knew who they were going to sign. And so these are the things we're going to take, uh, you know, and I can't, I'm not as clear on who that would be yet because we haven't seen who's opted out of their contract and who may be available, but that is something to watch over the next couple of days. Well, it's about who's worth it, number one. And it's about number two, if you're the Los Angeles Lakers, man, we just drafted your son. All right, you know, we're, we're going to develop him. We're going to help him be all he wants to be. We did that. Could you do this for us? Mm -hmm. Now, LeBron at that particular moment has a decision to make. And part of it is, okay, if I'm willing to make that decision, am I willing to make that decision? Or am I willing to look at you and say, oh, oh you know, damn favors, I'm about to re-up. Re I'm here. And because I'm, I ain't have to be here, but I'm here. It could be that attitude. I don't think it would be. I don't think LeBron would do that, but I also don't think that he's going to shave $12 million off of his salary because he, uh, Rich Paul is representing him. And, and, and Rich Paul, if nothing else, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Rich Paul ain't trying to give you a dime that he don't have to give you as an NBA team, okay? That, 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 that's not who he is. So it's going to be interesting to see what's happening in terms of what's next for the Los Angeles Lakers. But I personally believe that I'm, I'm not against D'Angelo Russell, but I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of people who are not consistent. I'm just not. And when I saw him, there were times last year he was great. And then he'd show up the next game, and you had to put an APB out for him. You know, where the hell? I thought he was in the arena. I thought he was in uniform. I thought he was playing. Absolutely, positively nothing was what you got from him. One game is high, another game is low. And I think that when you're that unreliable... That's, I believe that as a player, uh, Jay, he, the 